students uh, welcome to digital tech by vignesh balaji so in this video we are going to see how to create rest api for truffle project so in the previous video series you have seen how to create and uh, how to write a smart contract and how to deploy to the gena cli and as well as using truffle commands we have generated the build folder uh, so with which is nothing but which has the abi so now uh, using express we will see how to create rest api and uh, we'll see how to interact with the uh the contracts that has been generated inside the build folder and we will test this use, using the postman so that we can see the response what the uh ganache is written so uh if you see here i have a basic setup of the uh, uh node so what I, you have you already seen the truffle config where we did the configuration development and everything so now um i have a packet of json where uh, you can see the dependencies with whatever i used after this video like uh, i'll be uh, in the video description you can see the github url where you can see the complete uh, code and uh, as well i will be sharing a uh, word document which i have created which have a detailed description about this complete series whatever i have done till now so you can see uh, a complete if you go through the document you have a better better understanding as well so uh coming to the packet or json we have uh, dependencies whatever necessary so we are using uh, express uh, obviously is required for creating the rest api cos uh, body parser a json file truffle contract so this uh, truffle contract and web3 is the uh, like a helper helper packages that uh, act, gives us to access the api and as well as use the web3 methods so after this uh, i have an src folder where i already created a route folder which have purchase uh, js so and as well as we have a service this, this service is responsible for interacting with the uh, contracts inside the build folder and uh, app web3.js is the one like uh, which gives the uh, uh, like access to the uh, gena cli so where we can actually make the transactions so if you see here we are actually importing web3 from the web3 library which have installed and we are creating a new uh, instance of web3 http provider so this gives us the access of uh, gena cli so that we can able to make transactions uh, in the uh, using the smart contract so this is the main file the app, app.js so this is the basic config like uh, where we configure routes and everything so i have uh, created an express app uh so uh, prior to this you, you i think the audience would have a basic knowledge of how to create an express uh, uh, express app and uh, express.json i have added a middleware for to uh, pass the body and as well cars error to i'm uh, getting rid of the cars error by using the cars uh, plugin and i have a basic health check api like uh, for checking whether the api is working fine or not so uh, like this is the one like uh, api uh, slash purchase route so that is we are going to route uh, right inside the uh, purchase.js uh, and uh, here we are starting the uh, app so uh, this is a global error and line number 18 till 20 is a global uh, error handling function middleware function so whatever uh, un unhandled error will be handled here and this this is the main uh, main function where we will actually uh listen to the port 8081 and uh, we will 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 call the main function so this is the basic setup about the express app and now we will uh, create a service that will uh, confirm a purchase so i have a basic uh, thing in place so first we will import web3 from web3 and uh, like i have i have named the uh, purchase uh, purchase storage from uh, the build folder contracts uh build contracts and uh, the the extension the json so build contract json if you are able to see here so it is like a json file where you have all this abi and uh, methods and everything so uh, we are going to target this and we are going to do some transact uh, like we are going to make some transactions inside the kenash so uh, let's start let, let's start writing the uh, of a business logic inside the purchase dot uh, js so uh, so i have uh, so truffle contract which provides a contract function so that gives the uh, access to the purchase storage contract and uh, this so we are getting the so line number 6 is very important so where you have to get the instance of the uh, purchase contract 
So uh, we are using a new a new web three dot uh, dot contract. So what this web three dot dot contract object makes is that it is easy to interact with the smart contract from the Ethereum blockchain. So whenever you create a new uh, contract object, you give it a JSON interface for respective smart contracts, and uh, Web3 will auto cover all calls into the lower level uh, ABA calls over the RPC for uh, for whatever you are doing. So this also allows you to interact with the smart contracts as if they were uh, JavaScript objects like that. So uh, we are we are we are targeting the ABI, and uh, you know whenever we deploy this. Uh, uh, Ganache CLI, you remember we have we had a we have specified the network ID that is hundred. So if you see in the readme file, I have given the command uh, like uh, Ganache so Ganache CLI hyphen M. Uh, so the network ID is specified as uh, hundred. So I have um, specified the particular network ID over here so that uh, we can get the proper uh, purchase instance. So now we will write this function uh, that is. Uh, uh, purchase dot uh, confirm purchase. So uh, we'll see how to write that. So uh, I'll have a basic error handling uh, in place. So we'll have a try catch. So this will handle if, a, if any error occurs. So. So now, uh, so whenever you are deploying the contract, so this will uh, take the Coinbase account, which is the uh, first account in the accounts that are listed in the Ganache CLI. So now we will, uh, we have to get the accounts uh, uh, that are available in the network. So we, do, uh, we have, uh, you, we have generated ten accounts. So we are going to going to target the second account uh, and to confirm the purchase. So in this case, confirm purchase uh, it becomes the buyer, right? So the zeroth account becomes the seller and the first account becomes the buyer. So zeroth means this is an array, so it starts with the uh, index zero. So zero becomes the uh, seller and one becomes the buyer. So now we have to get the accounts uh, in the Gana CLA. So, so I make a constant accounts and I'm going to make await uh, with three dot get dot get accounts. So if you want to see the Web3 library, you can uh, go to Web3 uh, Web3 in Google. You can type Web3 in Google and you will get the library uh, so that you can see the whatever the uh, functions which are available. So these are the only uh, simple functions uh, which I'm using. There are a lot of functions that you can use. So we can see that in next uh, videos, upcoming videos as well. We can cover up those things. So uh, here, if you can see, after getting the accounts, I'm uh, uh, using the purchase instance uh, and uh, I'm going to the methods where I have the confirm purchase which I have which is there inside the solidity so uh, we have already uh, targeted the confirm purchase and we have to send uh, send from which account the transaction is being made and as well as some value to that particular uh, the function that we are going to execute So I'm targeting the first account. So he becomes the uh, buyer, and the value will be so some value. So the the value that I specified in the migrations. So I'm copying this because it has a lot of zeros. So uh, I'm copy pasting it. So now we have made a. Uh, like with the purchase instance, we are calling the confirm purchase with the first account and uh, sending some value because if you don't send value, it will revert you with the exception. So now we will resolve this response so that we can see that inside the uh, uh, in response object. So now we have defined the confirm purchase and we have exported that as well. Now we will write the uh, route for this particular uh, particular confirm purchase. So now we'll start defining the uh, router. So we have to import uh, express from express to create a route. 
we will import the function uh, that we have created confirm purchase Uh, confirm purchase from the service uh, folder so now we have to create the uh, router from the express router So uh, now we are going to uh, create a post route. So router dot post, and that is going to be uh, purchase. Purchase, and it will take request. Uh, it will take parameters as request, response, and next. So now we will have an uh, try catch over here to handle the exceptions as well. So we will catch an error. So now, uh, so we are going to uh, uh, get the uh, response. So response is equal to, we are going to call that uh, confirm purchase function. So confirm purchase. Uh, and the response dot json would be like uh, the message success or failure and as well as the response whichever comes from the uh, confirm purchase function so this is the uh, like uh, standard way that we can return response so i'm writing a somewhere purchase is confirmed by me so on the data, the response that we are getting. So this is the basic, uh, once the function is success, we will get this response. And if there is some error, we are going to send that status as 500. So it means an internal server error. Uh, and uh, we have to like, we have to make this next error so that it doesn't stop so now uh, we have a service and a router in place and uh, we have already targeted this uh, purchase router um, so that whenever you hit it should be slash api uh, slash purchase so now we will uh, start now we'll start this uh, application by npm start so if you see in, in packet.json, we have an npm start, what we have written, npm run build. Now you can see uh, we have already created this uh, service and we have made use of that route here and as well as the, uh, we have pointed that purchase route inside the slash API. So no, now what we are going to do is that we are going to test that in the postman so that uh, uh, we can actually uh, see the, uh, see the response. So HTTP localhost ET81 slash API slash purchase. So now just we are going to simply hit the uh, send button so that uh, it will take the uh, first second account as a buyer and it will make the transaction. So now you can see uh, it is success and we uh, we can get the transaction as a block hash, block number from and to and gas and everything. So uh, so this is the basic uh, way how we can actually uh, create a rest, restful API for the Truffle project. So mean uh, like uh, I will I will comment the functions for confirm purchase, uh, pu purchase as well as the uh, cancel order and as well as for the uh, confirm receipt. So, uh, so, so that it will be, it will be pretty much same as the what I have did for the purchase. So, I'll be uh, sharing that in the, uh, I'll be committing this code in the GitHub so that you can uh, find the code, updated code over there. And as well as I, as I said, I'll be sharing the uh, document, Word document, which has the complete, uh, complete, uh, uh, 
a set of instructions to create a truffle project and create rest api out of that so thanks thanks guys for your time so please uh, subscribe and share it to your friends if it find useful and don't forget to uh, comment on the comment section below thanks